Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then hi my name is Kate I hope you're all doing really well so today's video has been so highly requested and I said I was going to do it at the beginning of the year new year new start kind of thing but honestly this year has been so up and down and I've been traveling here there and everywhere so up until about two months ago I hadn't really established a proper morning routine but I think I've nailed it now and it's really made the world a difference to my headspace the way my day goes and honestly it's not one of those like really aesthetic amazing morning routines that are super healthy and everything but it works for me and hopefully some of you guys can get some inspo from it last time I filmed a morning routine we were in the middle of lockdown I was on my own so my morning routine has changed quite a bit since then I have less time in the mornings because I'm a lot more busy so I just do what I can and I prioritize what I want to do saying that though I do always wake up an extra half an hour to an hour before I actually need to because I like to have time to to really just chill and take the morning slow of course my routine changes depending on what I'm doing but this is what my routine looks like on a typical day during the week when I'm working from home for the most part I really hope you guys enjoy it and yeah let's go Okay, maybe I'm biased, but I think I have the best alarm clock in the whole world. These two waking me up in the morning makes my heart so full. They always wake me up just before my alarm goes off at 7.30 by demanding attention, especially Opal. He loves the kisses and cuddles. And honestly, these two have changed my morning routine. Like, how can you be in a bad mood waking up to these little bundles of fluff? And they're great because it means I don't go on my phone from the moment I wake up. Here's Pips being so cute, giving me some nose kisses. And then I grab my water because I'm always super thirsty first thing. Okay, and then I actually get out of bed and the first thing I do is make my morning cup of tea. This has been a ritual since I don't know how long, but I'm not ready until I've had it. Also, if you're wondering why my hair looks so done so early in the morning, it's because I had a blow dry yesterday and I sleep on silk pillowcases, which make all the difference in the shine and making styles last as well. I also prepare the bunnies breakfast and I'm keeping this morning routine realistic. So to be honest with you guys, I saw this lemon tart in the fridge and I thought this would go really nice with my cup of tea, even though it is 7.30 in the morning so let's not judge here's me trying not to drop or spill anything oh i thought this was so cute then running after me my little shadows and then back to the bedroom open the blinds get some light and some fresh air in give the desperate bunnies their spinach they normally have herbs but um i run out so here is them chomping away at it and then I just chill for about 10, 15 minutes and I try not to go on my phone during this time because I'm on my phone pretty much all day long. So I try and enjoy this little pocket of peace. But today was hard because I had lots of people chasing me. I also couldn't resist showing you guys Opal drinking my tea. He's just so cute. He always asks to finish it, but um, he's not allowed it. So I only let him have a tiny bit before anyone starts calling the RSPCA on me. Don't worry, he is fine and very healthy, but just look at him being all messy, so cute. At this point, it's about eight o'clock and I get the bunnies some fresh hay, put it in their box and just tidy up any mess from the night before. They're pretty clean, but sometimes they get hay in bits on the floor. I then turn the shower on and whilst I'm waiting for that to heat up, I will make my bed so I'm not tempted to jump back into it. I'll then jump into the shower, wash my body, wash my face. I also gua sha with the face wash whilst I'm in the shower, but this was hard to show, so I'll show you once I'm out. Grab my towel dressing gown, also squeegee the shower because I hate watermarks left on the glass. And then on to a favorite part of my routine, which is skincare. Nip and Fab have this amazing new range called Hyaluronic Extreme 4. So I start off with the cleansing cream, which is super gentle and it doesn't feel like it's leaving your skin stripped or dry. And then like I mentioned before, I then use the Gar Sha on top of this. I just find it kind of kills two birds with one stone. And this just helps to reduce puffiness and just give your face a little bit more definition. I'll then remove anything left on my face with a damp cloth and then pat dry. Before going in with the Nip and Fab Hydrate 
hydrating serum. So this range has four active ingredients that work together to really intensively hydrate and each product has two types of hyaluronic acid in them meaning you get all of the locked in moisture giving you a real boost and glow to your skin and then i use the gel cream which is like a moisturizer and i just love the texture of this what's really good about these nip and fab products is they have two types of hyaluronic acid meaning it gets to two different layers of your skin my skin is naturally very dry so hydration is key for me and i just find my makeup sits better i also use this range on my body as well i sometimes get dry patches and this really works wonders today i'm wearing this tala set and my favorite comfortable bra i'm working at home today so i wanted to look nice but still feel nice and cozy and then I make my morning smoothie. Today we've got spinach, banana, my favorite beauty chef glow. This is supercharged with amazing ingredients. I also added some frozen cherries and some coconut milk. At this point, it's about 8.45, and I find that early in the morning is when I'm like most focused. So this is the best time for me to do the boring tasks that I normally try and avoid, like admin, invoices, emails, and I guess just the less creative things. So I'll also go through my to-do list and my schedule for the day. I like to schedule and time block on the Apple calendar. So I do this hour by hour. The night before, I normally write a to-do list out, and then I allocate each task to a designated time. I don't always stick to this, but it gives me a good idea and it just keeps me motivated and organized throughout the day. I usually have a little scroll on Pinterest, get some inspo and then chat to you girls in my DMs. And now to get ready, I will always listen to something whilst doing my makeup because I think it's a great way to maximize my time and I like to learn whilst doing something kind of mindless, I guess. I'm currently listening to Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself and I'm finding it so interesting. There's also another YouTube video that I like to listen to sometimes which is quite motivating, so I'll leave that down below in the description. I definitely don't do my makeup every day, but today was a shooting and filming day at home, so I decided to do a nice light makeup. As you saw, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, followed by my favorite Rodeal Concealer, a new mascara I've been using from by Terry that I am loving, Rare Beauty Blush and Lip Liner, and then a nice hydrating lip oil. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. I wear perfume every day, even if I'm by myself. I'm currently loving this Tom Ford one. It's super summery. And a bit of a weird thing, but I once read that tying your habit to another habit makes you more likely to do it. So now what I do is whenever I apply my perfume, I then link it to writing in my journal every day. And it just reminds me to do it basically. So the next step is to sit down with my journal. I write down my gratitude and just kind of dump all my thoughts onto one page. I make myself do one page at least every day and honestly it's just so helpful and now it's time for some breakfast the quality of my breakfast purely depends on how busy i am that day if it's a super busy day i will probably have cheerios if it's a bit more of a chill day i will treat myself to avocado on toast with feta paprika lime and salt Okay, so that is my morning routine in a nutshell. From here on in, I'll be doing work, shooting, filming, going to meetings, whatever I'm up to. But as long as I have that first little pocket in the morning to go through these routines and habits, I always feel so much better throughout the day. Let me know what you thought of this video. Also, let me know if you want to see an evening routine. Remember, I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.